Hi there! It's Tony from Little Dot Doodle. Thanks for checking out my channel today. Uh, this video is going to spotlight a pen brand that we have a small collection of and I just added to that collection. So it's been a while since I've had a new pen day and I thought after I show you our collection and the ink pairings that I would unbox my new pen with you. So the brand is called Narwhal and if you look at the spelling, um, they changed, the company changed the spelling. It used to be spelled narwhal, like we know how to spell the animal, but the company changed the spelling to reflect the Icelandic spelling of narwhal. But on their website, they assure us that even though it phonetically looks like you would say Novelor. Uh, and I do hear some people say Novelor and I say Novelor sometimes. Um, they do assure us that it is still called Narwhal. So the first two pens that I'm going to share are from the original Narwhal model. And these two uh, were my first purchases of the Narwhal pens off of Goldspot. I don't think they carry these specific colors anymore. These are very opaque and I feel like their newer ones of the original model are more translucent. So these are still stamped with the old spelling, Narwhal, because they are a few years old. And I have one in green and one in kind of this purpley pink. I have the, they're both medium nibs, stainless steel nibs, screw tops. They have piston fillers, which means I dip the nib into the bottle of ink and twist and it sucks the ink up. You can see, maybe you can see here, this is, um, you can see the ink window here and it shows you how much, you can see a little bit of the ink sloshing around. You can see how much of the ink you still have left in the barrel. Um, this green one is filled with Robert Oster in Envy and it has got some fantastic shimmer to it. I'm not going to do a writing sample of every single pen here, but you can see that's how thick that shimmer in is. And it's it handles really well in the medium nib, surprisingly. The purpley pink one I have inked up with Diamine Party Time. And this ink is hands down the sassiest ink I own. It has got a purple pink shimmer to it and it is fantastic. So I'm going to just do a quick little writing sample with that so you can see how it handles. Um, again, it's a medium nib. It flows really well, doesn't get clogged up. And these nibs are super juicy. And it goes down kind of, it almost looks a little magenta, but when it dries and that purple shimmer comes through, oh gosh, I'll see if it'll show up on camera. Um, but just a side note, if you do like shimmer inks and you find yourself um, with a pen that's getting clogged a lot, I really recommend these brass sheets. This one's kind of crinkled. Um, and be careful because I have given myself paper cuts, well not paper cuts, it's brass, brass cuts, um, but you can, if I have a, an, a pen that's being kind of cranky, I'll slip it under the tine and the feed and I'll give it a little bit of that and then I will slip it through the tines here and give it a little bit of that and then put it in that hole in the nib and just run it through and that usually fixes it because sometimes it just gets a little bit of a, a chunk of shimmer in there. Uh, the next pen I'm going to share is from a different collection from Narwhal, and this is their Horizon series. 
this is such a beautiful pen it's a little differently shaped you can it's kind of like a cigar shape and the accents are blue so the clip and the the little ring around the finial and this little wave and then check this out beautiful blue nib that is just absolutely beautiful um stainless steel these horizon pens have let's see this is the horizon and habitat um, that's the specific color combination they have a little ink window so you can see again how much ink you have in it or if it's slashing around or even just what color you have in this pen i have diamine glacier and this is from the 2023 ink vent it's got a lot of silver shimmer it's super pretty and then the second horizon that i have in my collection is the twilight color and this is just absolutely my color i love the green i love how the green comes down into the barrel the finial this bottom finial is dark beautiful deep brown and then the grip is also a super pretty brown both of these horizons i have oh no i'm sorry the this one is a broad nib and this one is a medium nib so in this pen my ink pairing is diamine pick me up which is a nice brown but it just wasn't flashy enough for me so i added green shimmer so we have a few of these little canisters of shimmer that we got from the craft store and i will add some of the shimmer it's super finely ground into this um or not into this but into a little vial and shake that up and i will show you what that looks like but first i'll look at this see if this shows up on camera you can see that party time has dried and it is some purpley shimmer so cool um, okay so this a oh, little hard start there is the novelar or see <laughs> the narwhal um, horizon oh, that's a really weird z in twilight broad nib and diamine pick me up plus green so those are the two horizon pens that we have the next series is their voyage series and this is actually my husband's pen this was our gateway into the voyage series we picked this up at a stationery store um, over in portland that we go to that sells nearly new pens so people have traded in their pens and we saw this and he picked it up and it was kind of our gateway into the rest so it's got a fine nib he's got glacier in it which is a nice matching blue uh, i don't know if it'll really show up but there's a diamond cast in here so you can see the little flex and again like the other ones it's got a little window for ink it's a piston filler so we twist this the only complaint i have about narwhal pens is that this series particularly um, if you accidentally twist this just a certain way or a certain amount it kind of becomes loose and it won't stay um, my i always hand it off to my husband and he magically fixes it for me um, so i just let that one go the next voyage in our collection is the los angeles which is in a broad nib and this is probably our most flamboyant pen it is just absolutely stunning and the cool thing about these pens is that 
you don't know what the resin is going to look like. This looks like nothing um, as the picture on Gold Spot. And so we actually bought this in person at the stationery store. And when they opened it up, my husband was like, oh yeah, we've got to have that one. So it's pretty fantastic. It is inked up with another ink vent from 2023 celebration is the color it's kind of a reddish orange with orange shimmer and the cool thing about this pen is that it really can it go with a lot of different inks we just decided to put the celebration in it so i will do a quick little sample of that so you can see it it's really a lovely color so let's see Narwhal, Voyage, Angelus, and what did I say? This is a broad nib. So all of these Voyage pens are named after a city um, or a location, something that I guess Narwhal thinks represents the color scheme. And that's Diamond. Celebration. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to show was actually my first voyage. So after my husband got the Shanghai and the, we added the Los Angeles to the collection, I ordered my first voyage, and this is the Miami. I got this from Goldspot Pens, and again, Fun that you don't know what the resin's going to look like. And so this has a lot of teal and purple. Uh, I have this inked up with Diamine Bliss from the Ink Vent calendar. And it doesn't have any shimmer. And you can't have a pen like this that does not have shimmer. So I added gold to it. And it's absolutely spectacular. I have this in a broad nib so the shimmer goes down really nicely. So I'll do a quick little sample of that. And this is kind of writing like I need to run that copper thing through, which this pen, I do have to do that from time to time because I think I put too much gold shimmer in it, and that's okay. Um, let's see, what did I say? Oh, bliss. Bliss. Gold. I don't know if that gold will show up quite yet maybe when it dries a little better but anyway the gold really comes through and it's super pretty the next one i'm going to share is the voyage tromzo this is such a pretty pen it has kind of a rose gold accent and a rose gold nib this one is in a double broad and the ink is glacier so i already showed you um, the glacier but this is a double broad which uh, when it flows it's nice and thick the narwhal nibs i do not find to be very bouncy um, they don't flex much so definitely don't press too hard um, but I don't tend to have any problem with the ink flow in these unless it just gets a little clogged and I just have to run um, the little brass sheet through it. Glacier. So, absolutely kind of is like a Northern Lights scheme. This one has a little bit of purple and there's some grayish green. There's some deeper green there, some pretty vibrant purple right there. Um, so this is a really beautiful pen. 
And the last one in our current collection is the Voyage Quebec. And this one is deep blue and gold with some diamond cast in there. There's even a tiny little bit of, looks like teal in there. And there's some more right there. And this is filled with Golden Sands, which is another diamine ink. And it's a yellow with a really pretty gold shimmer. And as I'm looking at the ink window, you can see it's empty. So <laughs> I see a couple of drops in there. Um, so I think this pen is been used to the last drop. So that's okay. All right, so for our new pen day, obviously it's a Narwhal. And when I saw this advertised on Gold Spot, I knew that I had to have it in my collection because it is my favorite color. This is the spring, that's what they're calling it. And it is fantastic. Look at that. It is green and yellow and teal, turquoise. And the cool thing about this one is it has green accents. It's got a green clip and a green band. And then this is my favorite part. It has got a green nib. It is so pretty. So I can't wait to ink this up. And I'll show you the inks that I am considering right now for this. Obviously it's gotta be a green ink because I have to match my pens. And this is where, like I showed in my a previous video that I, uh, or I house all of my ink uh, samples and bottles that we have so that I can uh, pick a new ink or pick a pen pick an ink when I get a new pen so normally what I'll do is just kind of see which one I think and pretty sure I'm gonna go with Golden Oasis there because it has a gold shimmer and it's a nice limey green I think that's gonna be the perfect ink for that pen so yeah, so that is our Narwhal collection. Um, they can be a little pricey. So if you're just starting out with fountain pens, I wouldn't feel intimidated by them. Uh, they do have less expensive uh, models, the, the tri original ones, these ones. Um, they still do have these on Gold Spot. Like I said, they're just a little more translucent, uh, but this is a great pen to be, um, a starter if you are interested in this brand. It's really a nice brand um, and we have been really happy with all of our collection. So since I am not spotlighting a pen today because I just spotlighted a bunch, I'm going to spotlight a desk accessory. This is the Sepia pen holder and I did get this off Gold Spot. It's Vanitas, which in Latin, I'm going to hold this up here, means vanity, which is a form of art that uses symbolism to illustrate the transience of life, the futility of pleasure, and the finality of death. So this little guy has such cool detail. Right here, that's a skull that's encased in like some resin. Oh, wrong direction, sorry. It's got memento mori on it it's got a little um, hourglass and I saw this and just thought this is so cool um, underneath just the attention to detail is fun it opens up and there is this tiny little rose in here I don't know if it shows up and I just think it's so cool to have on my desk I love the memento mori i actually have that as part of one of my tattoos and i just love the detail so it's a great place to have a pen just hanging out there so all right that's it for today um, if you have any questions about the narwhal brand or any any of the inks 
feel free to put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer questions. I'll link to um, the Gold Spot website where I got this stuff um, so you can check it out if you are interested. Thanks for watching and have a great day.